Hello friends, this video on P block elements part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Correct. Now let's talk about the oxidation states. Let's see the nitrogen first. So in this case first let me write the electronic configuration for this group is NS2, NP3. First thing is P is half filled so it is extra stable. Extra stability due to half filled. That is something which we should keep in mind. Now to attain eight values here this is if you see the outermost shell has how much three plus two five electrons right so either to attain the stability full stability it should lose five electrons or it has five electron it should gain five electron gain three electron five plus three is eight right so either the five electron it has it should lose or gain three electrons so if it has to lose 5 electron, it will get the oxidation state of plus 5. If it has to gain 3 electron, it will have the oxidation state of minus 3. Correct? Please note once again. See, the valence cell has 2 plus 3, 5 electrons. So to gain stability, full stability, it has to either lose 5 electron or gain 3 electrons so that it becomes 5 plus 3, 8. That means the oxidation number of nitrogen will lie somewhere between minus 3 to 5 because these are the extreme two possibilities correct so if you see nitrogen minus 3 to 5 I can write actually for example minus 3 will be shown by NS3 minus 3 and then if you talk about minus 2 will be shown by N2H4 NS3 is my ammonia N2H4 is my Hydrazine, if you talk about minus 1, it will be shown by NH2OH, right? Hydroxylamine, and then if you talk about zero oxidation state, my nitrogen gas will have zero oxidation state. If you talk about plus 1 oxidation state, my N2O will have plus 1 oxidation state, that is my nitrous oxide. If you talk about plus 2 oxidation state, my NO will have plus 2 oxidation state, that is my nitric oxide. If you talk about plus 3 oxidation state, my HNO2 plus 3 is sorry, writing here. Plus 3 is HNO2. Correct. If we talk about plus 4 oxidation state, plus 4 oxidation state. This is shown by NO2, that is my nitrogen dioxide, and plus 5 is a very good example of nitric acid HNO3. So these are my oxidation state by nitrogen. Minus 3 to plus 5. Minus 3 is NS3 ammonia, minus 2 is N2H4 hydrazine, minus 1 is NH2OH hydroxylamine, 0 is N2, plus 1 is my N2O nitrous oxide plus 2 is NO nitric oxide plus 3 is HNO2 nitrous acid plus 4 is NO2 that is nitrogen dioxide plus 5 is nitric acid. Right? So my nitrogen is all the oxidation state. Okay. Please note the intermediate state that is plus 1 to plus 4 these values I will put the star here plus 1 to plus 5 is my intermediate oxygen state. They are not very stable. They are not very stable and they will actually uh, tend to disproportionate in acid solution. For example, if you put HNO2 and it will try to become HNO3 and NO and water. So if you do see HNO3 has oxidation state of plus 2, sorry plus 3, nitric acid if you listen to Nitric acid has oxidation state of plus 5 and NO has oxidation state of plus 2. So if you see, these are not stable. So plus 1, plus 2, these are not stable. They tend to disproportionate. Anyway, so this is plus 1 nitrogen. But if you go down the group, if you go down the group, tendency to form minus 3, the extreme value is actually the tendency to form minus 3 
and plus 5 both will decrease. If you go down the groove, so tendency to form minus 3 or plus 5 will decrease. It will decrease as we go down the group. Why? See, tendency to form plus 5 will decrease because of the inert pair effect. We have discussed this in the beginning of the chapter. So, inert pair effect, the if you see this 2s, this s2, this will not take part in the bonding. This will not take part in the bonding, so plus 5 will go down. The tendency to form plus 5 will go down. Correct? So, it has to lose only 3 electrons instead of 5 electrons. So, it will try to go for a plus 3 effect. Plus 3, plus 3 will be more stable here. Correct? Please understand. See, plus 5 was because it has to lose 5 electrons. But in this case, these guys will not take part. S2 will not take part. So, only 3 electrons has to be lost. If you go down the group, the size increase, the metallic character is increase actually. The size increase, but the number of protons increase all the more. So, because of the inert pair effect, the tendency to form plus 5 will decrease. Okay. In fact, if you talk about uh, this guy Bismuth, so BIFI is the only compound known which has plus 5. Only compound. Plus 5 only compound for bismuth is only BAF5. No other, no other compound of bismuth has plus 5 oxidation state. Okay. Now let's talk about why tendency to form minus 3 also decrease as we go down the route. See, tendency to form minus 3 decrease because the increase in size and metallic character. Increase in size and metallic character. See, if you see this is metal, these are non-metal, the metalloids. And metals are typically electron giving group. They don't want to gain electron, right? So, metallic character increase, metallic, metals are normally electron donor. If you see, if you see sodium, sodium donates electron. So metals are typically electron donors. The, if you go down the group, the size is increasing and also the metallic character is increasing. Since the metallic character is increasing, they want to donate more electron. They don't want to gain. Right? So this tendency to form minus 3 will also decrease because they will have more tendency to lose electron or the plus oxidation states, it will have more. Correct? So hope you understand why the tendency to form minus 3 and plus 5. These both, both the tendency for these both these two extreme case decrease as we go down the group. Plus five tendency decrease because of the inert pair effect. Minus three tendency decrease because the metallic character is increasing as we go down the group. Okay. Now if you see the element will also attain stability with lose three electrons. If you see this guy. With lose three electrons, NS two is also stable because the last orbital is s orbital and that is fully filled. Correct. Thus, the prominent oxidation number is plus 5, minus 3, plus 5, but also plus 3. See, minus 3, plus 5 we have seen, but also plus 3 is a prominent oxidation number for this. Why? Because even if it is lose, even if it lose 3 electron, that is my plus 3 oxidation state, it attains stability because the last orbital is my S here and that is fully filled. So the prominent oxidation number for this particular nitrogen family group is minus 3, plus 3 and plus 5. Okay. So the way we have seen the oxidation number for nitrogen, let's see for phosphorus also. For phosphorus also it is minus 3 to plus 5. That is the range. 
So let's see. Phosphorus. So we'll start with minus three. Minus three is shown by uh, CA three. Uh, PS three is a good example. PS three for minus three. Then you have minus two. PS three is my phosphine. H two S is a good example of minus two. Then you have minus one. You can take any example R. And then P O it's a match. This is also minus one. And then you talk about zero. Zero is my normal phosphorus. Talk about one oxidation state plus one oxidation state. That is also possible in this R, P, O, OH, and some R. So in this case, also you see the oxidation state is plus one. This is minus one, and this is become zero plus one. Minus two, so totally becomes plus one for phosphorus. We got plus two oxidation state uh, is also there. Uh, I don't have the list now, but again plus two I don't remember. Plus three you can have PCl three, good example. Similarly, plus five if you want you can have PCl five, it's a good example. Or you can also take P two O five. So phosphorus also shows all the oxidation number from minus three to Plus five. If you talk about uh, arsenic, antimony, and bismuth, these three, my plus three is more stable for all these three. Because of inert pair effect, plus three is more stable here. Correct. And as I have told, in the case of nitrogen, we have seen that if you take uh, unstable uh, oxidation number, it you see a dis proportional reaction right similarly in case of phosphorus also if you have intermediate oxidation state then it tends to disproportionate okay thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again